Ready for another edition of Warpaint TV? Brought to you by Cotman Transmission, Olathe, Kansas, 913-768-1555. Welcome back to Warpaint TV here at WarpaintIllustrated.com. Immediately following the Kansas City Chiefs' big victory over the Arizona Cardinals. We're here today with our own from Warpaint Illustrated, the magazine, Connor Crawford. How's it going today, Connor? Good, Shane. How are you? I'm doing great. How about that big win today? You know, the Chiefs started out a little slow. It was 3 to nothing Arizona at the end of the first quarter, but they came out in the second, third quarter and really established themselves. What did you take from this game that really impressed you? Dwayne Bowe, man, that is, this was his game again. It's another 100-yard uh, receiving game for him. Uh, he broke his silence. We got it on film tonight, but thank God you can see he's a new guy. Uh, it's good to see also the team coming together after a really like embarrassing loss this past week and the weeks before that. But they really laid it out on the Cardinals, and I think they really needed it. Who cares about the the touchdown at the end? Because that was you know at the very last second. But it really should have been a 31 to six game. But still, regardless, it's a victory. Matt Castle now has 18 touchdowns and four interceptions after nine games of the season. The Chiefs are back into first place. What do you think it's going to take for him to finish out the second half of the season? Remaining, you know, playing as well as he, you think he can continue this play the remaining, remaining six games? I think he can. The thing is, he's, you know, he has a tendency to throw two touchdowns, 200 yards a game. What they really do need to start using more is Jamal Charles because they didn't give Jamal Charles a touch until the 12-minute mark of the second quarter, about eight minutes into it. And, I mean, you could see that they are e eventually evened out uh, between Jones and Charles, but I really think they, I mean, it's, I've been saying it for half the season now, they really should be using Charles a lot more, and that uh, they can't really, you know, they're not gonna rely on Castle in the, in the playoffs, but they can rely on this run game because it's still the best, and they're back in their old shape. Get back to your point, it was a shock to see Jackie Battle get the ball at second goal at the one-yard line before jo Jamal Charles did. Good thing the Chiefs later scored on that touchdown catch to Dwayne Bowe. We'll be back after a brief message from our good friends at Cotman Transmission. My experience at Cotman was phenomenal. They worked on my car while I waited. I was in and out in less maybe like 30 minutes. When you're dealing with your car, you drive it every day. You need someone that you can trust to work on it. It's a good experience. I'm a Cotman customer for life. I trust Cotman. He's my Cotman man and he keeps me rolling along. All right, what lies ahead for the first place Kansas City Chiefs is the NFC West leading Seattle Seahawks. Matt Hasselback has been in and out of the last two games with concussion-like symptoms. He has started today at New Orleans, which the game has now taken place. What's it going to take for the Kansas City Chiefs to go on the road next week and get their second road victory, Connor? That's the thing. They have to win on the road. Uh, they can't rely just on Arrowhead victories anymore. They're going to have, you know, in the, the later stretch of the season, they're going to have to win in Seattle, which is one of the toughest places besides Arrowhead and the Metrodome. Uh, but more importantly, also, this gives them a chance to build on their, for the Chiefs, it gives them a chance to build on their lead in the division on teams that aren't in their division. So they can beat up on Arizona and, and maybe Seattle, and then they'll have Denver and then San Diego before you know it. Seattle will be hosting their 65th straight home sellout next Sunday. For Connor Crawford, I'm Shane Williams with Warpaint TV. For Justin Olson, Clayton Windler, Josh Scotton, Nick Athen, and the entire staff at WarpaintIllustrated.com, happy holidays. Don't miss another edition of Warpaint Illustrated the Magazine. To get your subscription today, call 888-979-0979. That's 888-979-0979 or check out WarpaintIllustrated.com.